According to the National Missing Persons Database, more than 600,000 people go missing every single year. And when police run out of leads, parents are often left without many options. Now, some American families are turning to private contractors rather than law enforcement to help find their children lost to the street. Emily Finn has the report on this. Emily? Yeah, that's right, Natasha. Sometimes police are not able to do much to help people living on the streets who may be struggling with mental health or drug addictions. And even if they are able to locate them, they can't force them into treatment, leaving their families feeling helpless. Now, some are giving up on law enforcement assistance altogether, turning to private contractors for help. I would want every family to know that there is help. When law enforcement isn't able to intervene, private contractors like Vicki Lucas are called upon to help. She works as a private contractor and started her company, Equanimity Interventions, in 2017, helping people across the U.S. find family members lost to the streets. Her company has a network of 140 private contractors throughout the country who facilitate two to three interventions a week. Lucas charges $250 an hour to consult with families hoping to reunite with a loved one living on the streets and get them care. For $6,000 plus expenses over six months, she has helped find missing daughters. She offers live-in support for $2,500 a day and helps families get their struggling loved ones into treatment programs. Lucas tells News Nation she hopes laws change nationwide so families don't have to resort to hiring private contractors like her for assistance. And I think in the future we're going to see it become a lot easier for families to get help because they shouldn't have to, they shouldn't have to hire me. It shouldn't go to this extreme. Who in their right mind would choose that lifestyle? Vicki Lucas's mission is to help families who want to help a loved one struggling with mental health or addiction. She's been in recovery herself for 25 years. I just realized later that my family cares and loves for me and they didn't want to see me keep going down the path I was going down. Last year, more than 1.6 million people were reported missing across America, but only about 3% of those people went missing involuntarily or were marked endangered. While all cases involving minors are reported to federal authorities, there's not much law enforcement can do for voluntarily missing adults. In states like California, Illinois, and New York, police can't detain a missing person or force them to contact family, Natasha. Yeah, it is complicated and it makes sense sometimes to bring in that outside help. We appreciate you tracking this. Emily Finn, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.